This is a Sun Oracle Spark P4-2. I just wanted to show it off because I saw there was no other really videos about it on YouTube. So I'm just going to go through it and show like the boot up process. These are the fan modules. I think these are like 50 watts a piece, 50, 60 watts. They all just go in, lift up, you push them down, goes on. That's the front service panel. On the back, it has two 2,000 watt power supplies, though they're only 1,000 watts on 120 volts. This one has two fiber NICs installed and a 10 gig card. Those are not add-in cards, that's just the, the, uh, the serial port and networking, VGA output, network management. Some of the insides. And there's more service information right there. That's cold service because you can't open these when they're on. There's the back. So that's the 10 gig, gig car. These are the two processors, the heat sinks for them at least. Um, each one of them is eight cores, eight threads. So 64 threads total for each one. So or 28 threads and 16 cores total. This has 512 gigabytes of RAM. Each one of these holds 128. Slide one of these out. So these are all 16 gig sticks. So 64, 64. And then you add it to those. So 512 gigabytes. All DDR3, 1600 megahertz. Power supplies are connected right there. Those are huge pads because they uh, really pull a lot of amps. There we go. And I'm going to connect it with a RJ45 to DB9 serial to USB. Well, this is like an all-in-one connector, so it doesn't have that DBI, DB9 connector on it anywhere. This just goes into the server management, although it's upside down. There we go. So it's in there, and then you can plug it into your computer. And the stock settings for PuTTY just work. You have to find the right COM port. Let's see if I can opened up right here. Okay, so I just logged into the serial right there, and this is just the ILOM manager. So integrated lights out. And we can just do some simple commands, like uh, it kind of works like a file system. So if I ls, you know, I get all those, and if I, I can show, I believe it's slash system. Yeah, so you get all that information, and I can s see like what processors it has. So if I type in slash so system slash processor, yeah, I'm typing it with one finger. But you can see right there, those are the two Spark processors. Installed two CPUs because it's a Spark T4-2 server. And then if I want to find the memory, that right there. You can see 32 sticks, and it adds up to 512. And then you can also see other things like, you know, power. I think it's just power like that. Yeah. Two power supplies. It's only taking 20 watts right now, which is kind of high for idle, but max power is 200. Or not 200. About 2,000 watts. And then if I want to start, I just do start slash S Y S. And I'm going to cut the video so that you guys can hear what it sounds like on the standard uh, iPhone microphone. Because right now I just have headphones plugged in so you can hear me a bit better. Okay, so if I press enter, you're going to hear this thing boot up first. You're going to hear the power supply fans, and then you're going to hear the, the normal, the big fans right there. And those are like, you know, 300 plus watts of just fans. Uh, so, enter. 
gonna start right now. Oh, yeah, you have to press yes. I'm sure I wanna start it. So now we can see that it's, it doesn't really give you any startup messages. That would be in the console. Uh, but if I was to go, let's, let's look at the power. So if I look at the power here, you can see now it's taken a lot of watts, 595. And if I look at cooling, yeah, you'll see the exhaust temperature has gone up too. Um, so let's start the console, I believe, I kind of forgot how to just start it. Uh, I believe it's under host. Yeah, typing with one hand, so. And I can start the console. So I believe it's going to take, it takes a bit to boot. Um, I think it's a couple minutes, but I'll just cut to when it's finished booting. Yeah, it's initializing. Okay, so it finally booted. Uh, but here's just, you know, all the text that was missed. This probably took maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to boot. Uh, that's just the help menu, but you can see it's actually into like the, uh, well, this is, it's, I believe it's in the open boot. Um, so I can like kind of thing. I think I have to type in help boot. We'll see. This is, the console is a bit slow. It could just be the cheapo cable that I'm using. You see it takes, yeah, there it is. And I don't have an ethernet cable connected, so it, uh, it's kind of mad at me. But I'll show you how to just power it off from here. So you can just type in power off like that. And then I'm gonna press enter. And it's instantly off. And then to exit the console, all you need to do is type in hashtag, or well, I gotta wait for it here. Or no, you don't, you just, you type in hashtag and then dot. And then it stops the serial console and then you're back to the integrated lights out manager. So that's just a quick look at the um, the Oracle or Sun. It's it's Sun Oracle, whatever it is. Spark T4-2, 512 gigs of RAM, dual Spark T4 processors. Pretty cool. I believe it's the only one actually showing a video of the actual server on YouTube. So, pretty cool.